So this is a weed whacker I was given to fix, and uh, it, it just won't start, and I think I know why. Because if I put the choke on, try and start it, it just won't start up. It won't fire, and uh, it's got fuel. Um, again, I have the choke on, so I think it's the spark plug, so let's pull this boot off. Get a 15 millimeter socket on there and get it off. Yeah, that does not look great. So got the plug down in there, got it grounded, and you can see there's no spark. So yeah, there's the problem. So let's get a new spark plug in here and it should be good to go. All right, got a new plug in there. Let's see if it'll spark. Ah, still nothing. All right, well, let's start tearing this case off so that we can get to the uh, stator and stuff and see if there's something wrong with that. that little um, torque screw in there and uh, you have to hold the back half of the engine with something so that you can loosen it so I did that and now I think I gotta get this clutch off of here all right got the clutch springs off of there just kind of had to get under the spring with the little pick and pop them off all right so now that I got the clutch off I gotta get this off and it just unscrews like this the washer off. All I did to keep the motor from spinning is shove a couple shop towels into the crank so that it wouldn't spin while I unscrewed it. So now it just pops off of there. So now we can see our flywheel here with the magnets on it. I'm just gonna take this out. Okay. Well guys, after I checked out the flywheel and stuff, um, everything seemed to be fine, so I chucked the cover back on here, and now it's sparking. So yeah, now it's sparking. Um, I don't know what went wrong with it and what caused it to not spark, but now it's sparking again, so... All right, so now let's get this thing back together and uh, yeah, hopefully it'll start right up. So, should still be sparking. There we go. All right, so now we can uh, pop this thing back in there and hopefully it'll start. All right, so in the backyard, let's uh, see if this thing will fire up. Just gonna prime the primer bulb a little bit. All right. It's all nice and primed, choke's on. Let's uh, try and start it. Nothing. So even after getting the spark done, still wouldn't start up. So let's pop off the uh, air filter cover and uh, spray some starting fluid into here and see if it'll start. Oh yeah, that should be plenty. Let's see if it'll start. All right, so it's not even starting with the carb fluid 
in there. So I think we're gonna have to take apart the carb and see if the passageways are being blocked. All right, so let's pop this case off again. And uh, we're gonna need to take these two screws off here to take this plastic air box off. All right, well, in here it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look clogged up or anything, which is good. As for the carb, yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. Choke works, throttle also works. So let's take it apart, I guess. So just uh, disconnect those. And we're gonna have to drain this somehow. All right, so I just squirted that little fuel um, bulb in here bunch of times and it kind of came out a little bit so that's good let's start by taking this off all right so now this cover should pop right off there we go um this should be able to move i believe so that's working gasket's in good shape and in here we got our little needle valve and uh so a little set screw here, so we're just going to take that off really fast. It says spring loaded, so be careful. Don't lose that spring. There we go, there's that needle valve right there. Seems to be good. Just going to blow out all these little passageways here. Let's take off the primer bulb now. It is going to spill a little bit of gas, so watch out for that. Gasket looks good. Reed flaps don't look torn or anything. We pop the bulb itself off. Everything looks good, so I'm just going to gently blow through there. I can just pop my bulb back on. And we got all these passageways in here, so I'm just going to kind of blow through those. Alright, so now I'm just going to pop this back together and hopefully uh, it'll run. Alright, bulbs back on, so let's get this side back on. So now I got to get my little uh, valve back on there, so let's put this back together. And be sure to get that little tiny spring into that hole there. Then, just got to kind of line it all up. Alright. Gotta make sure I get that uh, spring under there. All right. So now spring's on there, it's attached to the little valve. And now just screw that little set screw back in. All right, now it's working perfect. Now we can put this side cover back on. All right, so now we can just pop this on here. So now let's pop the black hose onto here and then the green one into the bulb then get your air filter housing and your screws put them through there all right there we go now uh just to kind of get it started going to spray some starting fluid on there hopefully this thing starts right up prime it all right see if this thing will fire all right moment of truth choke on primed as fuel all right guys well the gasket looks perfect um i blew those holes out everything's fine blew that hole you can see through it clearly so i have no idea all right guys i just put it back together and now it starts right up So I'll have to turn that up, but So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and hope it was able to help you out. Uh, if it did, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out on any helpful videos to come. Hit the like button. And I'll see you guys all 
in the next one.